So you have an uninvited guest in your house. Well, I'm going to tell you how to get that snake out of your house. I'm Dave Lewick, the trapper guy, and I'm a professional nuisance wildlife trapper in the Tampa Bay area of Florida. Now, if you're a person like me and you're not afraid of snakes, you know where that snake is, you know how to identify it, uh, you're going to go up and catch it, you're probably not going to bother with this video. On the other end of the spectrum, if you're a person that has a horrible snake phobia and just the thought of that snake being in your house or seeing that snake is going to give you a heart attack, you're probably going to want to call a professional. Now, assuming a lot of you that are watching this video are just do-it-yourself kind of people, you're not terrified of snakes, uh, you have a pretty good idea it's a non-venomous snake you're dealing with, and you know, you're not scared of it, but you're not real jazzed about having it in the house with you. So you're the ones I'm going to be targeting and I'm going to tell you how to get them out of the house. Now the first thing you need to do with that snake is isolate it to the area of the house that it's at. Um, if it's underneath uh, uh, an appliance, maybe put something around there to block it so it's not as easy for it to move out of there. Uh, if you see it go in a hole in a wall or in a gap in a cabinet, maybe put some tape over it so it can't get out. Uh, also if it's in a certain room but you're not sure where, uh, close all the doors of that room and put a towel underneath the cracks of the bottom of the door so the snake can't get out. Now once you have that snake isolated as best you can, the next thing you want to do is get yourself a glue trap. And a glue trap is basically a board with glue on top of it. And for those of you who don't want to harm the snake before you shut this video off, you probably heard that these are inhumane traps. They're actually humane traps and I use them as catch and release traps and I will show you how to release a snake on this video. Now I'll give a link down below in the description so you can get these traps. Uh, this is a bigger trap right here. Uh, this trap right here, believe it or not, is big enough for every native snake in North America. Uh, but if you can't get this one or they don't have it at your local store, you don't have one already somewhere in the house, um, you can go to your local hardware store and you can get a rat size glue trap and for most snakes three foot and under that's usually plenty big enough. Now any trap you use can be an inhumane trap if you don't use it correctly. So make sure you just use this trap indoors and that you check it every day or a couple of times a day. Now the way to set these traps up is if they're in some gap in the wall or hole the easy thing to do is just unblock that gap you blocked off and put the trap right in front of it. Likewise, if they're somewhere in the house and you don't know where it is, uh, you want to put these traps in the corners of the house, corners up against the walls. Snakes like to move along barriers and you're going to put them in these areas where basically the snakes are going to travel and eventually they're going to be caught. Now if you have pets in the house, you want to put them underneath some type of furniture or appliance, some place the pet can't get to it, um, and also where you're not going to step into it. Now if you accidentally do step in the trap, um, don't worry because we're going to get you out of that trap the same way we're going to get the snake out of the trap. Now after checking the trap and you see that snake is caught, uh, what you want to do is you want to take it outside. If it's a small snake and you're certain it's not a venomous snake and his head is usually are stuck down to the trap, um, just pick that trap up and take it outside. If it looks like his uh, head is up and he's a little snappy, uh, get yourself a flat shovel, a big dustpan, something to lift it up and take it outside. And what you're going to want to do is set it outside somewhere in the shade. And the secret way to get him out of this trap is not really any secret at all because if you look at the directions on the back of those traps, which most people don't, they tell you how to get free of those traps if you accidentally get stuck in it. And basically vegetable oil. Uh, you can use a spray type of uh, vegetable oil, you can just use a bottle. Uh, make sure you put it on there liberally and get it all over the trap and basically just set it out there and the snake is going to be struggling around and as he struggles it's going to slowly free him from that trap and he's going to crawl away and go on his way. Now the last thing you need to do once you have that snake out of that trap is you want to figure out how it got into your house. So you're going to want to go around your house, usually around the bottom of the house look for any gaps, make sure you have those things filled off, uh, make sure you subscribe to this video. I'm going to be doing another video that's going to show you how to snake proof your home.